Any thoughts on the Dragon Age series? Haven't played it. I, I do enjoy those open world RPGs. Um, but I need to get, like, really lost in it. I need to get really, really lost in it. Like, I can't just play for 90 minutes and stop. Like, it's, it's like a, a, a four-day affair. I remember when I first went to grad school, I had, I had a hard time clicking because... I don't mean, like, socially. I mean, like, mentally, I had, like, an existential crisis because at Harvey Mudd, they... I mean, they make you do a lot of work. Like, it is a it is a very work-intensive school. And very rarely do you ever have the possibility of finishing all your assignments. So it's, it's a very interesting juggling act. And what's interesting is the teachers, they're not shitty about it. They're not like, oh, well, yeah, you really gotta... You really gotta kick it into high gear here, Sean. Um, but yeah, so... At RV Mud, the teachers are really supportive, the students are really supportive, it's a wonderful environment, but there's a lot to do, and you get told what you're supposed to be working on, with the exception of your thesis. So when I went to USC, where I was studying interactive media, where I was studying interactive media, um, the, the sort of general goal of the program was to create an environment where you could do a lot of your own projects. Oh, thank goodness, but boy, are you late. You'd, you'd get the opportunity to work on many of your own projects, and the coursework was often supplementary there. In short, it, w it was not like, do all these things. It was like, okay, here's a thing, here's a thing, here's a thing, and it was sort of assumed that you would be working on your own projects, which is super, super, duper dope. I don't think I'm going to run out of Thorson. This is to... And so I remember I just kind of had this like weird existential moment where I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I don't actually know, like today, like, you know, because they'd be like, okay, class is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Here's some stuff, here's some stuff, here's some stuff, here's some stuff. And I would be done with like everything that had been assigned that week, like midday on Thursday. And I just like didn't have anything to do to do till like Monday and I was just like eh. just like so uncomfortable for me and of course the reason I kind of had this I crisis is, is I just I, I was not used to this mental framework where it's like yeah dude work work on your own project do your own thing Okay, so I, I was in this in this point where I was just like, oh, I felt like sort of demotivated and confused, and it was almost like apathetic, right? I was almost like, I don't know, I could do, I don't know, I could watch TV show, I don't know, uh, like I just had this sort of uh, this sadness, this general frowniness. But I had ordered Fallout Three because Fallout One and Two are like two of my favorite games of all time. Love the original Fallout games so very much. So pre-ordered Fallout Three. And it arrived on a, like, a Wednesday night. And, like, we didn't have classes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So I was just sort of like, huh. And I just installed Fallout 3, and I only played Fallout 3 for five days. That is all that I did. I, d I, I just stayed up until I couldn't stay awake anymore. I just I just stayed up till like 5 a.m. playing. And I just fell asleep, woke up whenever the hell I woke up, and I just kept playing it till like, you know, noon the next day. And just fell asleep and woke up at like 3 a.m. and just play it. Like, I had long, insane sessions. And it was so... Awesome. That experience was just so fantastic. Oh shit, I fucked that one up. You're never coming out. You're never coming to the party. Whatever, I'll get an army of six sixes. It was so awesome, it just woke my brain up and suddenly I had all this excitement and just eagerness to take on new projects. Like, it was just such a stimulating experience. I loved it so much. Oh my god. 
And so my second year in grad school is when I just went project crazy. I was working on an educational research math game called Puppet Man, which you can hear the, hear the stories of and um, the story of how I almost died. There's a... Uh, I was doing usual grad school stuff. Uh, I started the Day 9 Daily, and I started working on a small, small game. 